Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make or how to create stuff with module scripts. So first off, open up Roblox Studio and then create a new place. Or if you want to or if you want it on a place that you've already made, then go ahead and open that. Once you've done that, you'll need um to open the following. Go to view and then um check check all these that you see. Start start page toolbox objects basic objects explorer objects properties and window output window also you can um if you need any help you can check off um help wiki which once you've once you select an object let's say workspace it will load it will load information about that object in here so let me, as you can see here, it says, it says everything that you'll need to know about Workspace. Anyways, now we're going to um, create a module script. Once, you've, once you have um, basic objects open, go ahead and search for module script. Open that up, and then... Um, you'll see a blank page. Now, before we start, I wanna, I wanna tell you um, a few things that module scripts, are, um, how they are different than other scripts like local scripts and server scripts. Module script is, well, mod, you cannot run module scripts as you can see. Is through other scripts like as said before local or server scripts all right so module scripts can be used um in different ways for example um you can make only one function in a module script so um i will start off by showing 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 you an example of how to make um an output function so let's make a function called output and then for the parameter, we're going to call it string or str. And then we're going to print off here str. Now, um, print is not a function made by me. It's a function already created by um, the Roblox Lua library. Once we've created this function, we're going to um, go a couple lines after we're going to return the function name, so we're going to return the output. Now, you have to do this in order for the module script to um, know that you're going to use this function. Now, if you do, um, if you make another function called um, whatever you want it to call it, so I'll just say hi, and then um, you, cannot, you cannot do a return hi because that won't work you can only return one um one object i guess that's what it's called um so let's go test it out test it out so we're going to workspace and then we're going to basic objects in the search bar search for script now i'm going to do this with both script and normal script i mean server script and local script so I'll open both. As you can see here, this is called script and this is called local script. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'll just leave the local script here. Or actually, no, I'm going to go ahead and um, put the local script in the starter pack. Sorry if I'm a little bit confusing. Anyways, now in order to um, make the module script here work, we have to require it into the, um, or include it into the script. So we'll um, go ahead and make a, a variable called output, since that um, since that makes sense because we're using the function output here. So and then we'll do um, require, and then we're going to put inside here um, where the module script is. So it's in the game 
and then it's in workspace. So game dot workspace dot module script. And now this will work. Alright, so um before I continue I want to point out something. Now if you do um output equals game dot workspace dot module script that will not work because um the Roblox library um has it so that you have to require you have to use the require function so that the module script works script works. Um anyways so now that we've required it we're going to um use it. So now we can do output and then we're going to print out a string. So here I am being printed out. If I can spell. Okay. Now um now that we've done that, um I'm just gonna erase this so that we don't get mixed up. Now that we've done that in the normal script, we're going to um, exit out of the script and then go ahead and play solo. Now you can play solo by here, um, clicking this button here, not this button, but this button, or you can go ahead to Tools, Test, Play Solo. Now that you just click on this button. Alright, so we'll go to, to the output panel, and you can see here it says here I am being printed out. All right, so um, what if? Actually, no. no um, I'll go over that later. Okay, so that we've done that in the normal script. Now we're going to go ahead and um, do this in a local script. So local output equals require. Mod um game dot workspace dot module script and then we do output I am being being print oh my god okay printed out by local script okay now that should work so we'll go ahead and test it and see it says here here I am being printed out um because we haven't disabled the script so it'll go ahead and say that and then as we said it here I am being printed out by local script and it printed out here all right so um that's only one way that you can use um module scripts another way that you can use it is by um you can store multiple functions in one um, module script. So we'll make a table called, um, let's see here, I'll just call it my table, or I mean my library, because it's going to be similar like, it's going to be like a library I guess, so my library, and then we're going to create a new function called output, so my library, we're going to access the table, and then we're going to create a new function called output and that would equal to the function and then here as a parameter we're going to put sdr as a string and then we're going to print out the string that we've um, classified and then we're going to return okay now we don't return this but we do return um, the library itself, or I mean the table itself, so we're going to do my library. Alright, so we'll go here, and with, um, I'm just going to rename this so that it makes sense. Um, my library. Now you cannot use it like this, since we've called it output, it will error, it will um, output an error for you. So we're going to go ahead and erase this, and then say my library, and then output, which is accessing this, and then we, we don't do fu equals function, because unfortunately that does not work. Um, 
So we're, we're just going to do this. And then we're going to output the string. So, um, let's just say, yay, I'm alive. Alright, so that works. Um, so let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so it says here, yay, I'm alive. But why do we have this error? I, I purposely did this so that I could show um I could show you that it actually does error out. So um we go to we go we haven't changed any of this. So if I just did output, which is in the which is in the module script, it errored out saying attempt to call local output a table value. You have to call with the library, so um so Let's stop running this and fix that issue right away. So we'll do, we'll change this like we did before, library. And we're going to do my library dot output. And then it now should work. As you can see here, it says, yay, I'm alive because of the server script. And now it says, I am being printed out by local script. So you can use this um, for multiple ways. And now um, I also want to show you that you can also make multiple functions, not just one. So we're going to create a new function called create object. All right, so now we'll make that equal to um, a function and then we'll do um, we'll say the type of the object as the parameter or argument I'm, I'm sorry it's an argument argument not a parameter I think anyways um, once you've done that um, we'll do instance uh, no we're going to Okay, well, um, I guess this will work. Instance dot new. We're going to um, print out or do the type of object, and we're going to um, let's add another another argument called where where the parent is, saying where the parent is. So parent. Now, now we're going to um, use this as so that we can make um. Uh, what should we make? Let's see. Let's make a part. So, my library that create object. I think that's what it's called. So let's go check. Yep, it's called create object. Now we're going to um, call it part, and we're going to place it in workspace. All right. Um, let's test it. Let's test this out. As you oh, oh, okay, as you can see, this is um, it made a part right here, and it's called part. Now, I just want to show you um something real quick. Um, local part equals. We're going to set it as that, and now we're going to name the part. Um, I am a part. See, um, I should explain that. Sorry. Um. Uh oh. Part and nil value. Hmm. I guess that doesn't work. Oh, well, I thought it does. Well, we learn something new every day, don't we, now? Um, now you know that it doesn't work, I guess. You learned by, by my mistake. Okay, so now that you know, um, how to 
use module script. I hope that you like this video and I hope it helped out. If you do, please like or um, subscribe, like, and comment. If you have, if you run into any issues, please don't be afraid to ask me anything. You can send me a message um, on Roblox. My name is Omara. O M A R A A. Or you can comment on the Roblox video or I mean YouTube video. Anyways, um, I hope you guys like it. Bye. -bye.